Oh, another Lego. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey guys, Colvin here. Welcome back to another Watcher of Realms video. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing to the channel, by the way. I really appreciate you guys. But if you have the time right now, before we get started with the summons, click that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're really close to a thousand subs and it would be amazing and like a gift from you guys to me if you subscribed. Thank you all so much. I've got a hundred summons ready to go. Four thousand diamonds also. I really want to get Hatsud or Setram. I know it's a 10x plus 2x, so the chances are better than usually. Hatsud is obviously the MVP of this summoning banner, guys. She is amazing for many situations. I've seen her both in PvP. She has that big round attack kind of ultimate thing. It's just amazing. Um, and it and it's something that I would love to have in terms of the kit of, of my heroes, all right? Of the heroes that I have available. Setram is also pretty cool. I've, I've been noticing him. I've used him sometimes through the assist feature uh, within the game. Although the assist feature, I do think that it, it reduces the power of the heroes that you get from your friends. So I, I can't really test him until I actually have him. So this is my wish from this banner, obviously. I'm not really hopeful for any of the other ones. Um, Ezrin is pretty cool in terms of damage reduction, the talent that he provides to an ally and reduces basically the damage they take. It's, it's a pretty cool passive that he has. Um, it's this one right here where he can uh, also heal to an extended range and he can also give the talent. So yeah, he gives this reduction in terms of damage. It doesn't really help, I would think, on your tanks, but it helps on other allies who are getting attacked in terms of not getting one shot. So. Where am I in terms of summons? I'm at the 968. I believe I should be hitting the 200, which is the pity, um, at about 1,020 or so. But we will see. Um, I'm not expecting too much. I have some divine summons, which honestly, these got a low chance to, to get a legendary, but now it's boosted to 11.2% for the normal ones and 0.8 for the Lords. Obviously, Lords would be amazing, but that's not what I'm hunting today because I'll be summoning on the banner, not on this one, which is the normal one. I think majority of players will be summoning on the banner anyway. So um, what else do we have available right now? We've got events. So shard summoning, arrival of heroes, vault in the suns. We also have the big ultimate reward right here. If you are like a huge spender, you'll be getting this one. Look at this guy already or already has 26,000 points. And oh, I, I thought it was going to be only for the top place, but it's the top three that get the big reward. So yeah, the whales are going to be um, butting their heads and, and, and competing with each other. I'll be just here, not even going to fight this guy, 10,000 uh, that he acquired. But I'm hoping to get the 15 fragments here and maybe maybe pick up five or even seven it depends on the group so let's get started enough with the talk cold brew you've been rambling on i know i know guys i know i just wanted to get the intro out of the way so that we can enjoy a, a summoning video all right uh, i hope your summons guys go fantastic let's get started with an epic there's a 10x also on some of the epics i'm not really um too excited about the epics but i will Oh, Damon is a fantastic pull. It means I'll get the uh, the fusion. What's his name? Um, Abomination, right? There we go. Okay, this is this was well, well. Um, I, I I'm so happy about this one because I need a Damon. Of course, I need to level up the other stuff. Required to do have a vortex. I think I need to do Komodo through a fusion. So, thumbs up. It's basically like a legendary, right? Basically like a legendary, although with a few steps in between in terms of what I need to do. But Abomination coming into the account and, and I'll do a showcase pretty soon. All right, uh, let's continue. Okay, getting, getting, uh, all right, another epic. There we go. Another epic. The epics also, um, no, they don't have a, the epics don't have a 2x chance. No, it's only legendaries. But the, there's a 10x chance. But Nisande is pretty cool. Amazing epic, by the way, for more attack-based strategies. Because what she does, guys, um, 
she boosts, if I would remember correctly, yeah, boosts the attack in all heroes within her attack range every 40 seconds. And boosting their attack by 50 is pretty huge. You can use it in arena situations. Also, her heal is pretty cool because it's a bounce heal and it bounces between the targets. So definitely a worthy healer to have, um, I would say, if you get the summoning through. 20 summons, two epics already. So let's see when we will hit our Lego. There's another epic here. Is it? Is it the time? All right, Gluttony. Well, that, that is a 10x epic. So he was bound to come eventually uh, to our summons. How many are we at right now? I think we're 998. Ooh, exciting. All right, make sure I'm summoning on the banner. <laughs> All right, what is this? There's the epic, right? We're past the 1000. There's the epic. Nisande, again, pretty good. Lily, triple epic. That is fantastic, actually. Lily, I'm going to get her awakening up. Nisande, the same thing. I do have her already. So we are at the... Just, just want to make sure I count correctly. So 1008 is what we are at. So let's continue and see where this takes us. 1008 this is a rare attack so 1018 um the rares of course i can i can make into into gems that's not a rare i really want the ones i want already for fusions and stuff i've locked them so i'm i'm safe um yeah let's continue 1018 this should be a legendary because i think i've hit pity um honestly it's unlucky in a sense but no 2018? I guess, yeah, at the 200, it starts the pity, but 220 is the hard pity. So I just want to see. Two, yeah, 1028. Yeah, um, all right. Okay. Lost count, but 1028. Did I get a legendary from a different summon and I forgot? Maybe. Sorry, guys, but I, I don't note them down. So, all right. Many rares. Getting the rare attacks after all those epics. That triple epic. 1038. Let's go. Let's go and see what I get here. Um, epic. So 1048. Komodo. All right. I don't need to do the fusion. I guess Abomination is going to be much easier. Uh, than I thought. Just going to be leveling up stuff. So where I'm at. Um, 1048. Okay. 1048 rare tax 1058 yep 1058 wow um okay i thought i thought i was gonna hit pity disappointing there's the lego okay 1068 um but i'll count backwards let's see what we get more copy that's good and we get Ezrin. All right, I, I expected Ezrin, honestly, because he's, he's the one from the banner that I least wanted. But there we go. Ezrin, the healer. Um, I have Vortex. The, this healer will have a place, I guess. Um, I want you guys to tell me if he is really worth the level 60, because I was thinking of getting some of my epics to 60, like Maul. He's going to help with um, 19 on... Uh, 1819 on gear rate three. I'll have to think about this guy. 50 for sure. I mean, that's the easy part. But um, we'll see. All right. We hit the pity. That that was that was definitely pity. That was definitely pity on the sixth one. So four. So a thousand sixty-four. That yeah, we hit it. We hit it on a thousand and sixty-four. Let's see. Uh, the two singles here. Let's carry on. Skulf and uh, last, last of these ones, Rider. Okay, what I know I can get now is I can get some summons from this one. There's one summon, there's another two summons there. All right, three summons. There's the gold dragon pass. I'll get a level, level 30. That's six summons. Good. Getting some freebies here and there. I'm um, rank three already. Not so many points. Just imagine I've done 100 summons and I'm at 2.2k. And the leader right now has got 26k or something. So it's insane. Um, let's pick up everything that's 
maybe one summon and 15 fragments. Pretty cool. And I don't think I can pick any other gems, right? So I've got nine. I've got nine. All right. <laughs> anyway, I'll do gems. Uh, I'll do like maybe two temples. I want to stay at above. Oh, another Lego. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, okay. What do we have? What do we have? Setrum! Nice. Okay. He's going to be my Lex level 60. We hit the banner twice. One was Ezrin, one was Setrum, obviously. Uh, obviously, this one's worth it. I'm happy about this one for sure. Going to get it him, him to level 60. Good. All right. So, one away. So, this one was number, number what? 1079 1079 interesting let's do another temple here um epic okay get that out of the way get some gluttonies maybe laurel that's cool laura's got a very interesting um I, I believe it's a passive and he gives you rage when she dies um no is it is it her ultimate Oh, yeah, yeah. Additionally, upon death, it's a talent. Additionally, upon death provides surrounding allies with restoration of 50% of their rage cap upon death. Very interesting. Epic. You can use it in some situations and get her back if she dies. Um, get rage back when she dies. So you have to have that in mind when you are using her in some strategies. So let's carry on and see. Maybe, maybe we can squeeze through something. Light lock. I don't even really use light lock. Um, I know many people use light lock, but me, myself, not so much. All right. Now, one more epic to kind of close it off. We'll do singles after this one. Cyclone and Midan. Um, both Cyclone and Midan, I'm going to sacrifice Cyclone. I find that he doesn't have a place in the game. I don't feel like they're going to change him at all, like boost him at all. So let's do nine singles. And then I'll do the big summons after. So big summons, obviously not expecting much. But 11%, I mean, come on. Come on, right? Uh, the singles here are just brutal. It just takes too long with the animation, but I couldn't. How can I even buy one? Can't buy one, right? And unless it's from the black market, so. I had to do singles. Nairo, I'm getting him to Awakening 5 for sure with all these copies. Preter. And um, hoping maybe for an epic out of these just to finish it off. What is this? Is it Nairo like highest chance out of all the rares or what? I, I mean, he's on the wallpaper for the game, right? So <laughs> maybe hidden within the code they they want they want to give him out to everybody um let's continue all right that was just absolute rares uh from everything not gonna do the last thousand it's not worth it so let's do the big summons divine summons right if we go back and see, we got two brand new legendaries. That is fantastic. We got a couple of epics. I don't even have the space. So what I will do here is basically three legendaries, by the way. What I will do here is, wow, look at all these rares. Um, I don't want to sacrifice them just here. That's almost 2,000 gems, actually. Um, what I will do, though, uh, I've been farming XP, so I want to get some space opened up. I don't need a lot of space. Oh, lag, the lag. All right. I don't need a lot of space, but I do need some space. I'll think about the rares and maybe I'll do another summoning video the rest of the weekend. We still have like three days of summons. So big summons coming in, guys. Just now, just next. Ezrin, we got. Setram, we got. Hatsud, please, 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 please. Uh, that will be a nice closure for the video. So what is this? What is this? Epic. Okay. Expected gluttony. All right. Um, I think it's, that's Awakening 5, I think. I've got him at A3. So with the two copies of Summoned, 
I'll have an A5, which I don't know, maybe a showcase in the future. That will be cool. Oh, 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 what do we get? The Absan. <laughs> many, many uh, joke about this guy, call him Aspan. <laughs> I, I don't even know what this guy does, uh, but we just hit the pity, so it has reset on this one. Uh, and with two summons remaining, I don't expect much out of this. But let's see, let's see. We just hit the Lego, right? Oh, and another one. Yes, let's go. Oh, another Cetrum. All right. Awakening one. Easy Awakening one for him. Um, since in this game, there's apparently no, um, no ability currently to use dupes. I don't think they'll add it in the future. I like that you cannot use dupes, by the way. Because it, it would eliminate some plays like you could have multiple of the same OP heroes, overpowered heroes in there. So, yeah. Plus one, um, Cetrum. And to close it off, we get another epic. And it's Laurel. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm not too unhappy with the summons. Four legendaries, right? Four legendaries. Obviously, copy of Cetrum there. That's going to be Awakening 1, which means that translates to um, enters the Fortress stance, grants buff for up to two allies with the highest current attack within range, deals 30% more damage to enemy units with shields lasting for 15 seconds. Deals 30% damage to enemy units with shields. How often is that, though, in, in PvE? Grants buff up for up to two allies with the highest current attack within range. Yeah, but what does within range mean? I'm very confused with that, guys, because is it within attack range? So the, the blocks that he chooses to attack or is it something else? Uh, I would love for you guys to tell me. So, yeah, Cetrum is the one I'm focusing on. Let me know, guys, about Absan here. I'll also be getting my boy um, here, my boy Abomination. I do have Komodo now. I've got a Vortex at level 40. He's going to be 50. I've got this guy, and I also have this guy. So easy abomination, I would say. Got lots of rares. I'll be sacrificing those after I have a look at my awakenings and stuff, but I'll do that off video. In terms of the arrival of heroes, I'm at almost 5,000 points. That's solid. I'm not really hopeful that I'll, I'll get, of course, number one. No, no chance. But... um. The, the day is still the weekend is still young for others to be summoning and then maybe they'll be passing me. So I don't expect anything. What I want to, though, is get a copy of. Um, of her of Lunaria so I can get her to Awakening one. And these are my summons for today, guys. I hope you get even luckier than me. I think I did get lucky with basically what was it? Two legendaries from the, the big ones, the big summons and then. Two legendaries from 130 summons is what I did, right? So pretty good. Pretty good odds. Obviously just 1%, but then the 10x comes into play. It's a good chance for you guys to go for these heroes. Did not get Hatsuit. Um, I think she is the MVP. There's there's some there's some um I remember reading somewhere that people have been saying about weighted and how it is, but honestly, guys. We tend to put patterns when we think about these stuff and, and think, oh, they, they want to give out all the other heroes instead of that one. Well, if you think about it, they have the, the equal chance. Hatsuit, Setram, and Ezrin have equal chance. None of them is a lord. So they all have the same chance in terms of the 10x boost that they, are, they got. So you'll get, you'll get more of those. You could have three Hatsuits in a row, as an example. But it happens, and... Uh, we just carry on. Anyway, anyway, this was the video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Remember to subscribe on your way out. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you all. I'll see you in the next one. I'll be leveling up my heroes. Give me some tips down below on which one of these you have already and you've been using. Give me some tips in terms of gearing that you found is better. Uh, I would really appreciate that as well. Thank you all. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.